good money morning to all of you i said good money morning because there's money with us morning is good afternoon is good night is super good welcome to one more episode on the money workshop intro somewhere i'd mentioned to you about the instructions manual of money and that understanding money is understanding life let me give you one amazing insight so please keep all your attention so that this insight penetrates every cell of your body many years back one gentleman was sitting under the tree and thinking it was an apple tree and an apple fell a very ordinary incident like billions of times it would have happened before an apple falling from an apple tree but for this gentleman this was not an ordinary event this was an amazingly extraordinary event because at that very moment one of the major discoveries in science happened i'm sure that all of you will realize who and what i am speaking of yes you're right the person was sir isaac newton and the greatest law that he happened to discover at that moment of time was the law of gravity let's ponder over this incident if you and i were sitting under the same tree and an apple falls what would we do possibly eat that apple wait for other apples to fall that incident would not have touched and moved us to this great discovery this discovery happened simply because he was ready like i told you when we are ready the greatest discoveries happen similarly there's a very amazing proverb in india when the disciple is ready the master appears exactly like that if you are ready to discover about money the money workshop will appear to you this was part 1 of the insight what is part 2 of the insight which is a bigger aspect to consider let me ask you was there law of discovery of uh, i mean uh, let me ask you one thing that uh, did the law of gravity get created the moment the apple fell or was it always in existence you would say that yeah the law of gravity was always in existence it just happened to be discovered at that moment of time by sir isaac newton that's it exactly like that if some of you did not know the law of gravity would the law of gravity work on you or not work on you you say hey if i know the law of gravity or if i don't know the law of gravity that law of gravity will work on me because that law of gravity is a universal law and it is bigger than you or me you would be right if you say that exactly like that is the law of money the principles of money the universal principles of money the instructions manual of money says that if you know the instructions of money or if you don't know the instructions of money still the rules of money will be applicable to you exactly like the law of gravity now you'll be wondering oh my god that's a huge discovery that means right as i speak to you and you're listening the laws of money are being applied to you right across and at every moment of time either in the past in the present or the future the principles or the law of money will keep on applying to you 
if you know it or don't know it. If you know it is good, if you don't know it, it might land up into a trouble. That's what the whole aspect of money workshop is, unraveling each law step by step because that will be a real discovery. Otherwise, you might land into a big trouble just by not even realizing that you're not aware of the law of money. Now let us go one step further. One of the most important aspects to understand is that human beings have got right now the understanding of money in a very flawed manner, in a very erroneous manner or got it completely wrong. How? I'd like to point it out. We have an understanding which is like saying I know certain rules of money and I'll put it as human rules for money. That's one bracket. The second higher bracket is money's rule for money. Let me define it. If I were to ask you there is a good human being and a bad human being, who would you appreciate? You would say that I would appreciate a good human being. Okay, let's go a step further. If there is a person who is honest, sincere, dedicated, uses money wisely, follows all the principles laid out by the society and the universe, would you call him as a good human being? You say, good human being. Yes, yeah, right. He's a good human being. On the other hand, as a person who misuses the law the society has laid upon, who misuses the laws of the universe, hurts, harms people, would you call him as a technically a bad human being at this point of time? Yeah, he's a bad human being. Let me come to the third aspect. Generally speaking, haven't we heard that a good human being by whatever design should attract nice amazing money flow, should be happy, should be joyful, yes or no? Yes, he should be. Whereas so technically speaking, a bad human being should not attract that kind of money as a good human being does. Right? Yeah. But now, ponder for a moment of time and check out what is the reality. You'll be shocked because there are umpteen number of good, honest, dedicated people whose money life is really messed up. And there are thousands of so-called bad people for whom money is just flowing left, right and center. No matter what they do, money just flows in. Now this will be a big shock and or revelation. What's happening here? If you go a little deeper, you will realize that money technically doesn't understand a good or a bad human being as we think it to be. What does money understand? Money just understands its rules. That means any bad human being knowingly or unknowingly applying the rule of money Understanding the laws of money, money will easily flow to him or her in an amazingly big manner. Whereas a good human being doesn't understand the law of money, doesn't apply the law of money or is confused by the actions of money, no matter what he does, money will not flow to him just because he or she doesn't trigger or apply the rules of money as the rules of money stand out to be. This is a really a big shock. That means somewhere we have been doing so many irrelevant things in the hope that money will come to us and not doing those things that money actually understands. Imagine we are carrying such a huge burden of rules, laws and regulations and we are trying to apply it on money and simply nothing seems to happen because money simply understands other rules or its own rules that have been laid upon. And this is the magical phenomena. And the rules range from physical aspects of money, of handling, to the number aspects, to handling money wisely, to the behavioral laws of money, to the universal laws, to the spiritual laws, and what not. That is why I ask and implore all of you to understand the rules and discover it for yourself experientially. There is simply no substitute for experience because if there is a book, for example, I have authored a book called as I Love Money. 
and you happen to read it. I'm sure that you should read it. It's a great book. It will take you to the next level and it's now available in 12 international languages published by Jayco. You can google for I love money or Suresh Padmanabhan and or the money workshop and the first top 5-6 pages are money workshop pages. कोई मैं सोच रहा था ठीक है इसमें एडिटिंग लगेगा तो वही मैं सोचा कि आपने बताया नहीं तो आई वाज कंप्लीटली वो सुन रहा हूँ क्या ठीक है तो आई विल रैप इट अप तो बीच में टेक्निकली करेंगे हाँ बुक का कहीं ले सकते हैं तो लेट मी से बुक के पहले बुक वाज इरर लगे सो ऑल ऑफ़ अस नीड टू Take. All of us need to understand that somewhere let us start discovering what money actually understands. And the minute what money understands becomes clear within you, your life is going to have the most amazing transformation with respect to money. I'll reveal more in the next episode. Thank you. God bless. Have a most wonderful relationship with money and with yourself. And with life.